Hey guys, this is Alfred Joy Shark, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a free application in the Google Play Store by the LastPass company. This is LastPass official password manager, so let's take a look. Alright guys, so here we have the icon for the application itself. You can see it does say LastPass. Go ahead and tap on it to jump us right in. And here's the user interface for the app, which is actually kind of boring in a way. Uh, it's just an empty white screen when you don't actually have anything available. Uh, there's a search button, that's only a search if you have something, and there's a clear button as well if you'd like. Tapping menu, you can jump into the browser, add a website, add secure notes, you can add form fill profiles, log off, and then there's more. This is where you can exit the application. You can generate a password, refresh the different sites you've already put in. You can install bookmarklets. You can never URLs, clear your cache. There's an about screen, which is right from within the application. And then there's some preferences that we can take a look at. So you have password reprompt on activate, the pin code for reprompt and your reprompt background minutes. You can check and uncheck things like enabling fast decryption, enabling icons, enabling logging, enabling backgrounds, enabling logged in notifications, and checking login on activate. You can change your log off background minutes. You can change your browser homepage. You can use the default site action, which you can choose between edit, launch, and add copy notifications. You have launch two. You can either do the default browser or a built-in browser. You can set a default browser, enable LastPass browser, which is what we're gonna take a look at in a second. We enable LastPass input method if we'd like. We can remove that input, input method. And then we have location data and location attachment um, and uh, local attachment. So let's go ahead and jump out of the preferences. And basically the point of this application is to store some passwords. So what I've actually done is jumped into the built-in browser and gone to a website and tried to sign in. And then you'll get a notification which says, should LastPass remember this password? If I tap on it, we can name it, we hit a group and we can hit save, never, or cancel. Um, so if I go ahead and tap on save, let's go ahead and jump back. And you can see we now have something on the list. Again, doesn't really get any more exciting with its user interface. It's just text that we can tap on. It'll show you what the name of the account is. And if we tap on it, as you can see, it'll store our password for us to access right from there, which is pretty cool. So if you're one of those people who really want to be safe about remembering your password and remembering uh, different things that you can log into because you have different passwords for every site like you're supposed to, LastPass is a very nice option for you. Alright guys, so this application has over 100,000 downloads and pulls an average 4.5 out of 5 star rating, which is a pretty good rating. The application works and does what it's supposed to do. There's definitely no lag or problems with it. I don't think the user interface is very beautiful or anything special, so if that's something you're into with your applications, look elsewhere. But if you want something that'll just work and it's pretty dependable, I could definitely recommend this application to you. So thanks you guys for watching. Have a great day.